Hey what's up guys, my name is a friend and this is my fishing right now. I never thought that fishing could be so easy because the way I got to level 99 on my main was through the salmon and it's it was very click intensive but if you fish something like monkfish it is slow it's like 30,000 experience an hour but you just don't feel it and if you play like 10 hours every day which I know people will say who the hell plays this long you can get like 300,000 experience every single day and make some money as well. So it's not too bad. Now I know that the goal was 20,000 or 25,000 monkfish and I only caught around 13,000. But I just wanted to do something with the account. I didn't want to just AFK the whole time. I AFK'd literally 4 full days, like 16 hours every day. And if you concentrate enough you can catch around 4,000 monkfish in 16 hours though I caught around 3,000 every single day so it's not too bad still so that's a lot of food now of course you have to cook it you're gonna burn some so instead of 13,000 I'm gonna have around maybe 11,000 which is still not too bad while I was cooking I wasn't actually using cooking gauntlets because they almost don't work with monkfish I never knew this but I checked the wiki and it gives like plus two cooking levels on monkfish only. So it's not like sharks where the impact is really big. But for monkfish it's like I don't want to complete that quest mainly for the boss. Because if I'm going to do nightmare zone that boss is going to be pain in the ass. So for now I will not complete that quest unless I'm going to start cooking sharks with a very high cooking level. So I will be back right now to fishing. Actually right now as I'm making this video I'm back to fishing again. And I am going for 25,000 monkfish as of now. Not sure if it's going to be cooked or raw. Because you know if I'm going to just catch raw I'm going to maybe burn a few thousand. So it's not going to be 25,000. We'll see how I'm going to do that. But yeah so I completed a few quests because I wanted to get my herb lore up for the prayer potions because getting herbs yourself is kind of pain in the ass and the experience isn't that fast. Actually it is quite fast. I, I uh, killed a few druids, a few trips of druids and I got quite a nice amount of levels. So I completed uh, Edgar's Ruse quest that instantly got me almost to prayer potions from level 31. And now that I have prayer potions I can either go to Barrows which is good for runes and magic experience and of course you can get some battles items for later in the future or I could go for nightmare zone which is also nice because I could get pure essence I'm still not sure what is faster is it faster to get uh, to mine the pure essence yourself or to go to nightmare zone I guess it depends on combat level uh, mine is quite low it's around 71 maybe I'm not sure right now but I don't think it's high enough so not sure at this point if I should do Nightmare Zone. I think I'm gonna get like Rune Defender before I do that. But yeah. So I also made some jewelry because I needed that. I made like 30 dual rings and I thought that's gonna be enough for a really long time. And I think I used them up in like a week. So I needed to get more of those. And I tried buying them from the shop and it was just... All of those are empty. You can find the sapphires but you cannot find the emeralds. So I got to level 50 thieving and I cracked the safes at the birth rope. Uh, it's a very nice place to get the gems. Full inventory usually takes for me at my thieving level without stethoscope I think. There is this one item that makes it easier either you fail less or it makes everything faster. I'm not sure which one it is. It takes around 20 minutes for full inventory of gems. So the reason why I'm doing this is because of diamonds and emeralds. Because sapphires are not that worthy to me. I have plenty of those and rubies are not worthy as well. I may make one or two strength amulets but that's it. I don't need any more rubies. Uh, maybe for crafting experience only. So I need diamonds. It's a good source of diamonds. And I need uh, emeralds for dual rings. Because I use them all the time. It's like the closest place to the bank. So yeah, I just wanted to play a little bit with my account, uh, not fish, but just play, you know, quests, um, jewelry, crafting, mining, all that stuff. And now I'll be back to fishing, just like I said, and I will not leave this time until I catch 25,000 raw monkfish or cooked maybe. Well, I'm not going to catch cooked, but you know, I'm going to cook later on. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and bye.